How you doing there? Hope you're doing well. It's been a while since I've done a live and then I've just been uploading some videos. So hopefully this is right because the setting up slightly different. It also means everything's going to be backwards again. So this is David Richard Alma with Balancing the Triad, Body, Mind, and Spirit. <clears throat> Excuse me, Balancing the Triad, what is that? So in simple terms, I went through the most challenging thing I've gone through my life so far. And then for a simple procedure, woke up in ICU. Got a cancer diagnosis a week later, and a week later went through an eight-hour surgery. And in looking back, I was able to handle everything kind of relatively easy, easily. It wasn't that big of a deal. I didn't get scared. I handled everything in the moment and stayed calm and so I knew the options that I had, and which I also was able to reflect on, realize to carry it over to everywhere in my life. So that is what I'm sharing with you. I'm sharing some of the stuff that I've learned so that you can better face the challenges that life throws at you, the ones it's going to throw at you, the ones you're dealing with now, and even the ones from the past. So that is, in simple terms, that is what balancing the triad is. So today's topic, do you make sure and have some fun? And that's definitely part of the triad. You, Sometimes it can be work, but you got to make sure to relax, kick back, and enjoy yourself as well. That's part of the balancing aspect. Even when you're doing some of the tough stuff. I had a uh, training session today. <clears throat> Definitely a little sluggish and fatigued mentally and physically when I first start off the warm-up. But when I got the sink after the second warm-up set for the first exercise, I kind of was gone. It is challenging. It was difficult. It was hot today. It took me a while. Well, actually, it wasn't that hot today, but it was definitely a difficult session. I pushed myself, but yeah, I still find it fun. So things like that, are you making sure? I mean, especially right now, with uh, summer, we are in the first week of June. And so coming up in, what, two weeks in? Roughly two weeks, just over two weeks, we'll have the official first day of summer in the Western Hemisphere. So that gets a chance for more people to get out. But it's making sure to enjoy yourself, to do things that you have fun with. You got to, and that's also part of reset. In a sense, I, I view part of that as part of, Personal spirituality, you get a chance to reconnect to yourself. So, what are some of the things that I do? And I'm always talking about this ways to incorporate things throughout your day. I have a couple of games, I got a number of games I play on my phone. Some are, they're still fun, but I do them for mental concentration to work on the analytical mind. Other ones I do strictly just for fun, which would be um, Angry Birds Transformers, um, Marvel Strike Force, and Idle Hears. Those are a couple of the games I play strictly for fun and enjoy it. But I'll try to incorporate other things throughout the day. I'll, <clears throat> I'll watch uh, some YouTube videos just for fun and enjoy that. And I try to make sure in the evenings I cut myself off to make sure things are normally done by about 7-ish. <clears throat> this isn't always the case, and this is going to fit that this is what works for me at the moment. Things might change here. Try to make sure things are done by 7-ish. I'll play some of those games. And then I'll try to make sure, and I get at least a cup of decaf coffee as I'm unwinding. And I've been got a book I read just for enjoyment. I don't read too much i'd read most times it's just not strictly a story this time it's just a story in a series i'm reading so and i'll do that for a little time a little bit and that's what i enjoy i make sure to have that balance i get a chance to unwind for the day and that way there when it's time for me to go sleep i can take a shower sometimes unwind and go right to sleep but what are the things you do for fun now it could be sometimes that you got a plan for it and you're not able to do it every day so tell me both what let me know your thoughts on that what are the things that you do every day that you can incorporate in for a little fun for yourself, give yourself a little joy, a little play time. And what are the bigger things you really enjoy doing? All right, so make sure and incorporate that into Balance Your Tried. And if you're like me, some of the stuff you do for Balance Your Tried are fun to you. So you get to bring them in all at the same time. All right, so that's what I got to you. Enjoy the rest of your day. We'll catch you next time. Take care of Bouncing to you. Bye-bye.